Hi everyone, welcome back to Medition, your trusted medical information channel. I'm Dr. Lin, a board certified allergist and immunologist. Today, we're covering five key things you need to know about Ubiquitin, a groundbreaking biologic that has transformed the way we manage allergic and inflammatory diseases. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe for more medical insights. Let's dive in. First, what is Dupixin? Dupixin or Dupilumab is an injectable biologic therapy, FDA approved to treat a wide range of chronic and inflammatory diseases. This includes atopic dermatitis, asthma, chronic rhinosinusitis with nasal polyps, eosinophilic esophagitis, pruragal nodularis, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD. And just recently, on April 18th, 2025, Dupixin received its seventh FDA indication, now approved for chronic spontaneous early care. It is important to note that, like many biologics in allergy and immunology, Dupixin is indicated when standard treatment like inhalers, topical medications, or antihistamines are not even enough. In most cases, this means the disease is moderate to severe, steroid dependent, or associated with a specific phenotype that makes it a good fit for Dupixin. Second, how does Dupixin work? Well, Dupixin targets a key immune signaling pathway by blocking interleukin-4 receptor alpha. This receptor is shared by interleukin-4 and interleukin-13, two cytokines that play major roles in allergic inflammation. By inhibiting this shared receptor, Dupixin effectively shut down both interleukin-4 and interleukin-13 signal. These cytokines contribute to inflammation in the skin, airways, and GI tract. When activated, immune cells release inflammatory mediators that worsen diseases. Dupixin interrupts this cycle, helping to reduce inflammation, restore skin barrier function, and improve signs and symptoms across multiple organ systems, such as lungs, sinuses, or GI tract, depending on the condition. Importantly, Dupixin is not just an immune suppressant. It's better described as an immune modulator, meaning it helps rebalance an overactive immune response without bodily weakening the immune system. Third, let's talk about dosing. Dupixin is given as a subcutaneous injection. For most conditions, it is administered every two weeks, but dosing frequency can vary. For instance, patients with eosinophilic esophagitis who weigh more than 40 kilograms receive it weekly. In contrast, pediatric patients under 30 kilograms with asthma or atopic dermatitis may receive it every four weeks. Most patients begin with a loading dose, which means two injections on the first day to help the medication reach steady level quickly. However, not all conditions require this. For example, patients with a COPD, eosinophilic esophagitis, and nasal polyps typically start without a loading dose. Sounds quite complicated, but don't worry, your allergist and immunologist will guide you through this process determine the right schedule, and let you know whether a loading dose is needed. If you or your loved one has multiple diseases that Dupixin can treat, your specialist will choose the most appropriate dosing plan. In practice, we often have patients come to the clinic for their first dose. For those requiring a loading dose, we demonstrate the first injection and supervise as the patient or caregiver administer the second. Once trained, most patients give their injections at home, making treatment more convenient and sustainable long term. Also, just a quick reminder, do not try to inject your Pixin until you have been properly trained by your healthcare provider. Fourth, and one of Dupixin's greatest strength, it's approved for a wide range of age groups across multiple indications. For atopic dermatitis, it's approved starting at six months old. For eosinophilic esophagitis, 
the minimum age is one year. Well, asthma, it's approved for children as young as six years. And for nasal pox and chronic spontaneous urticaria, it's approved for adolescents age 12 and up, as well as adults. This makes Dupixin a great option for both pediatric and adult patients. And if your child has a qualifying condition, but isn't old enough yet, talk to your allergist and immunologist. Pediatric trials are ongoing and age approvals are likely to expand in the near future. Lastly, let's discuss safety and side effects. The most commonly reported side effects include injection site reactions and upper respiratory infections. These are generally mild and occurred more frequently in the Dupixent group than in the placebo group during clinical trials. However, there are several specific side effects worth noting. Eye symptoms, including conjunctivitis and keratitis, are more commonly seen in patients with atopic dermatitis and less frequently seen in other conditions. Most of these cases resolve or were resolving during the treatment period. If you experience new or worsening eye symptoms, that your allergist and immunologist know. Joint pain or arthralgia has also been reported, with some patients experiencing gait disturbances or reduced mobility related to joint symptoms, while some patients' symptoms improving while continuing treatment, others recovered after stopping the medications. Cases of new onset psoriatic arthritis requiring treatment have also been reported. If joint pain develops or worsens, speak with your specialist right away. New onset psoriasis is another rare but reported side effect, even in patients without a family history. Most cases resolve partially or completely after discontinuing Dupixin with or without additional treatment for psoriasis. And finally, hypersensitivity reactions, such as rash, hives, swelling, or even in rare cases, anaphylaxis have also been reported. If this occurs, the medication should be stopped immediately and treat as appropriate. Overall, aside from a few specific side effects that should be monitored, Dupixin has a very favorable safety profile supported by large clinical trials and real-world data. If it had not demonstrated this level of safety, it would not have received approval to treat multiple diseases across a wide range of pediatric age groups. As always, any new or unusual symptoms should be discussed with your allergist and immunologist. And there you have it, five key facts about Dupixin, a biologic that's helping over a million patients worldwide gain control over chronic allergic and inflammatory diseases. If you or someone you know is struggling with atopic dermatitis, asthma, nasal polyps, or any of the conditions we covered, talk to your allergist and neurologist and see if Dupixin might be the right choice. Feel free to share your thoughts or experience with Dupixin in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more science-based updates right here on the edition. See you next time.